Hi, this is Marco Poro for the BC Learning Network. We are looking at decimal tenths on number lines. Can you place and identify decimal tenths on a number line? Place the numbers. I'm going to start with zero and seven tenths. Because it starts with zero, the number falls between zero and one. So we're going to start counting at the zero. One tenth, two tenth, three tenth, four tenth, five tenth, six tenth, seven tenths. Zero and seven tenths falls between zero and one on the number line, right at the mark shown. Next, let's find one and four tenths. One and four tenths falls between one and two on the number line. So we can start counting right at the number one and count up four tenths. So this is one and zero tenths, one and one tenth, one and two tenths, one and three tenths, one and four tenths. Let's find two and six tenths on the number line. It's larger than two, but smaller than three. So we'll start counting right at the two. The line that marks the two has zero tenths added to it. So two, one tenth, two tenth, three tenth, four tenth, five tenth, and six tenth be marked right there on the number line. Here's a number that's written as a fraction instead of as a decimal. Two tenths is the same as two tenths as a decimal. So we're going to start at the zero. It's less than one. It's less than ten tenths, which is one. So we're going to count up two tenths and mark that right here. Let's look at one and nine tenths. It's larger than one, but it's smaller than two. So we're going to start counting at the one up to nine tenths. And there's 1.4, one and five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths. You could also do a little shortcut for this one. You know that nine tenths is one away from ten tenths, which would have been a whole number, another number two. So you could have counted backwards because two is the same as one and ten tenths. So we could count backwards. Either way, we mark it right there. Let's see if we can identify the numbers by name, starting with A. A is going to start with one, and we're going to count up from there. One and one tenth, one and two tenths, one and three tenths. B is right on the three, so we could write it just with the number three, or if we're using tenths, we can write three decimal zero. C falls between zero and one, so it's going to be zero decimal something, and zero decimal one tenth, two tenths, three tenths. Zero and three tenths. D is going to be greater than three, it's going to start with a three, and how many tenths past the three is it? One tenth two tenths. Three decimal two reads three and two tenths. Thank you for watching this video on decimal tenths on number lines.